Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the celebration of the liturgy on the memorial of the Holy Guardian Angels. We welcome as our celebrant, Monsignor Hanji. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your path. Guide me in your truth and A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, See, I am sending an angel before you to guard you on your way and bring you to the place I have prepared. Be attentive to him and heed his voice. Do not rebel against him, for he will not forgive your sin. My authority resides in him. If you heed his voice and carry out all I tell you, I will be an enemy to your enemies and a foe to your foes. My angel will go before you and bring you to me. My angel will go before you and bring you to the Amorites, the Hittites, the Canaanites, the Jezebites, and I will wipe them out. The word of the Lord. The Lord has put angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. The Lord has put angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, say to the Lord, my refuge, my fortress, my God in whom I trust. The Lord has put angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. 
for he will rescue you from the snare of the fowler, from the destroying pestilence. With pinions he will cover you, and under his wings you shall take refuge. The Lord has put angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. His faithfulness is a buckler and a shield. You shall not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that roam in darkness, nor the devastating plague at noon. The Lord has put his angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. No evil shall befall you, nor shall affliction come near your tent. For to his angels he has given command about you, that they guard you in all your ways. The Lord has put his angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called the child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. A few days ago, we celebrated the feasts of Michael and Gabriel and Raphael, who are archangels, and they were the messengers of God. That seemed to be their chief and main duty. But in addition, in addition to the archangels, God has given to each one of us a guardian angel. He loves us so very, very much. He wants to give us every help possible so that one day we can join him for all eternity in heaven. My mother had a great love for the guardian angels. I'm sure many of you, your mother taught you when you were just an infant and a child, that little prayer angel of God, my guardian dear. Well, mom had a great devotion to that prayer. In the last five years of her life, she had a cracked vertebrae in her back. And so we had to have a bed down, so a hospital bed down on the first floor. And every three months, I would take her for an epidermal injection to free her from some of that pain. But because of those injections, she also got some dementia. So when I was working full time in the parish, I used to come home on Wednesday and come back Thursday. And uh, I went up for a couple of years in the morning to make sure I'd be home by 10 o'clock. And when I would get home by 10 o'clock, I would tell my sister, God, well, I'll take over. I will, I'll take care of mom until Thursday night when I go back to the uh, parish. And during the night, if my mother wanted me, she wouldn't call me by name, but she would begin to pray, Angel of God, my guardian dear. And I firmly believe that my guardian angel heard her. I probably didn't. I was sound asleep. But my guardian angel, when he heard that prayer, woke me up. And when I went downstairs and flipped on the light, I'll never forget the smile my mother would have on her face. And she would say, 
Phil, how did you know I loved you? And I would say, easy, Mom. You prayed to your guardian angel. My guardian angel hurt, hurt you, and here I am. God loves us so very much. He gives each one of us a special helper. Let us today be aware of our guardian angel. Let us be thankful to God and be thankful to our guardian angel. And let us pray each day that our guardian angel will continue to really guide us and protect us and help us to remain faithful to our Lord so that one day we can celebrate eternal life with our guardian angel and with God. God bless you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you through the earth the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring before you, as we venerate your holy angels, and graciously grant that under their constant protection 
we may be delivered from present danger and brought happily to life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory. And by their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are, to be exalted above all things, through Christ our Lord. Through him the multitude of angels extols your majesty, and we are united with them in exultant adoration, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for 
mercy grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. And we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, we said to you, Apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ be Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us go. Home.